video. My name is Whitney Wiley and today I'm going to be doing a peachy berry makeup look. This one right here that you're seeing. Um, I got some brand new products so I have some Too Faced, some Fenty Beauty, a lot of Fenty Beauty and some Becca products and so I just wanted to put them to the test. So if you'd like to see how I achieved this look and how the products work then please keep watching. Also if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you as a subscriber um, and yeah if you like the video definitely let me know because I will continue doing these videos so let's get started and see how I got to this point <laughs> So the first new product that I picked up is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Matchstick Trio. So these have been all over the internet and I just wanted to try them out. Um, I got mine in Deep 400 so it comes with suede, espresso, and cinnamon. And yeah, I haven't pulled any of these things out. I've been keeping them in the Sephora bag. <laughs> and so now I get to try them. So, um... These are little magnetic sticks. It comes with a cream highlighter, contour, and a concealer, I believe, or a brightener. So I'm gonna go off, or start off with suede. I believe this is the concealer or brightener. Um, I've seen a couple reviews on this, and I don't know if people really like this as something to put under the eye. So I'm gonna mix it with my, um, hmm. I'm gonna mix it with my Tarte Shape Tape in tan. Okay, so I'm gonna do the tan right underneath my eye. The area that like creases the most because I know that this doesn't crease on me. And then I'm gonna go in with this, which I believe is a little bit darker. Um, I usually like a really bright under eye. I'm gonna use this kind of like for the bottom part of the triangle. Actually, wow, this is really close to my own skin tone. This is almost like a foundation stick than a concealer. Yeah, do you guys see that? It's pretty much my skin tone. I think what I might do with this is use this to also help carve out my contour later. So let's just blend this in and see what happens. Looks like the shape tape is just taking over. And then I don't go all the way to the edge of my face because I have a rounder face, and so if I bring that lighter color all the way to my hairline, then it actually makes my face look even rounder. Okay, that match stick definitely didn't do much of anything. Um, we'll see, let's see about using this to carve out my contour. Okay, next, before I set anything, I'm gonna go in with the espresso shade, and this is Supposed to be deeper than my skin tone. Yes, it's much deeper than my skin tone, perfect. And I will use this to cream contour. So I'm gonna carve out my cheekbones. I actually like doing this little U shape lately or like a little J right underneath to kind of like cup the cheekbone. And then I add a little here. And I've been loving doing a little here around my cupid's bow. Have to be careful with this though, it's very easy to look like you have a mustache. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna go on the sides of my face. Like I mentioned, I have a round face, so I wanna contour these edges so that it recedes a little bit. And then I haven't been con um, contouring my forehead because I think that kinda helps to make it more of an oval. If this looks a little bit bigger up here, it looks a little bigger down here, and then bring it in on the sides. I'm also gonna do my jawline. So far, I'm loving the color of this matchstick. Let's see how it blends though. This is a little chunky for getting in here to the nose, but gotta make it work. Okay. 
So far, I really love the color. It blends fairly well too. So far, I think I'm liking the contour shade a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with that suede and now I'm gonna try to carve out underneath my cheekbones, just lighten this area a little. So it's a little sharper. I think that worked. That looks good to me. Yeah, I really like the suede stick for this more so than underneath the eyes because it's not like that much lighter than my skin, but just light enough to really enhance that contour. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon on. This is the cream highlight. Ooh, this is pretty. I don't use cream highlighters that often, but it looks pretty, it's really natural. Really complements my skin tone, really natural. This is definitely a highlight that you could wear with like a no makeup day. Okay, so I just did my brows, my powder contour, and all of that. And now I just primed my eyelids with my NARS concealer. And now, time for the palette. Okay, so I picked up the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette. This is not a palette I would normally grab, but I saw some video reviews on it and it looked really pretty. Um, it's all mattes, which is not something I normally grab for because I like to have some shimmers, but I have plenty of shimmers in my collection. I don't need them, but yeah. How cute is this? I love their whole just peachy line. So this is what the inside of the palette looks like. Super cute. Oh my gosh. It smells like peaches, that smells good. It smells like peaches. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start there. And take a fluffy brush and go all over. Okay, and then I think with a smaller fluffy brush, I'm gonna go in with Peach Punch, kind of over that same area here. I'm gonna go in with Peach Punch, a little bit below where I was putting the other color. I'm definitely having to build up the color. It's not as vibrant on my skin tone as I would have originally imagined. Actually, it looks a little more vibrant on camera than it is looking in person. Going in with that same brush where I used the first color and I'm just gonna blend out the edges. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for a darker shade. I don't want this to be as nat uh, natural. So I'm gonna go in with Peach Sangria. Thinking all over the lid, actually, because I want to just have a very peachy, berry type of shade. So I'm gonna do that with a flat definer brush. Okay, then going back in with the second shade and just blending out the edges. Um, I want to deepen the corner of my eyes and the crease a little bit with chocolate dipped and maybe just ripe. I'm gonna go in with chocolate dip dipped and just ripe. I think I'm gonna mix those two together. I'm gonna just take like an angled brush like this and go in with a mix of the two. Just kind of placing it in the corner and then I'll use my blending brush to just blend it in. There we go, I'm gonna go with peach butter and put that underneath my brow bone. Ooh, I really like this peach butter shade for underneath the brow. It highlights really well without being like too icy. I'm gonna show, throw that same peach butter shade in the inner corners too. 
just to add a little highlight here. Okay, I'm gonna do eyeliner and lashes and then come back. Okay, I got the lashes on and eyeliner. So I'm gonna go in and put some of this under my lower lash line. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with Peach Sangria, that whiny shade right here. And then I'm gonna blend it out, I think, with Freshly Picked. Maybe a mix of Freshly Picked and, what is this, Peach Punch, that one that I use. Do you Peach Sangria first? it pretty low but I like it I think I'm gonna go in with just a black liner and mascara okay there we go finished eye look I think it turned out really pretty I love these shades these are so perfect they're so um, autumn fall feeling so I love this I think this will also look really good for Christmas because it kind of has like cranberry tones too so I think that'd be really pretty with Christmas um, or Christmas like outfit Okay, next new thing I got was the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlight. So I got this one in Ginger, wait, Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule, which I believe is like the darkest shade. So here we go. Love the packaging. Oh my God, it's like iridescent, so pretty. So one, it's definitely more shimmery than the other but I think those are so pretty. Um, let me go in with a blush though first. I wanna definitely use a peachy tone blush, so I think I'm gonna use, I think, yeah, I'm gonna use Max Raisin. I think that one will look good with this. And now for the Fenty highlight. I think I'm gonna go in with the more subdued shade first, this shade, and then I'll top it with that one. Ooh, that is copper. Ooh, that's pretty though. Okay, and now, wow, this is really pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the even more blingy color. Let's see. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, holy schmoles. That is amazing. Oh my God. It's so bright. I like a bright highlight though. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. If you guys could see this in person, it's like a rose gold or like a blushed copper. Wow, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. I love it. <gasps> I love it. Yeah, what do you guys think? I think it's so pretty. Oh my God. Wow, this might be my new favorite highlighter. Okay, I just went in with the first shade with the nose and the Cupid's bow. I'll go in with the second shade, just on the tip. <gasps> oh, it looks so good though. Oh my God. I like it. Wait, over here. <gasps> I like it. Okay, I got the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. She only has one shade in Fenty Glow. I picked this up, but I know that this is pretty, um, so cute, this packaging. I mean, God, um, I know this is pretty sheer. I have a little peachy undertone. That's pretty. Ugh, smells like smackers, I love it. Okay, so we have that. And then I also picked this up from Ulta. This is the Bobeka Lush Lip Color Balm. So they came out with these. They basically are lip balms with a hint of color. I got this one in milk chocolate because I wanted to get like a deeper fall, fall shade and not really a nude. But I just thought this packaging was so pretty. Look at this. This is their new lip tints, tinted lip balms basically. And yeah, I got this in chocolate. So they're just like really moisturizing and they kind of look like a gloss and lipstick duo. They're kind of sheer too. So I think I'm gonna use a combo of both. Let's try it. We're gonna go with the Becca first. That's a little bit of color to it, right? Oh God, these are so moisturizing. I love that for the winter so your lips aren't so dry, but they have some color in it. Ooh, I love this shade. 
it's honestly like a nude on my skin tone. Ooh, I like this. So pretty, I like all this makeup, ah! I love it. Okay, I think I wanna go with the gloss just cause I wanna try it. Let's go in with the Fenty gloss. I think it's just gonna make it like juicier. Yeah, ooh, this is a pretty gloss. They both are so pretty. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I think this makeup turned out so pretty. I love it. It's definitely got this like fall, plummy, peachy theme. Um, I loved all the products that I picked up. Um, I definitely have to say my favorite would have to be, oh my gosh, okay, no. My favorite would have to be the Fenty Beauty Highlight in Ginger, Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. This was amazing. Um, this is like no other highlighter I have. I love this. I think it's so pretty. I loved the matchsticks as well. Um, I didn't really like the concealer one that much, but I love the contour shade. Um, I love to use the concealer one to carve out the contour. And then I think that the um, cream highlight shade is really good too if you just wanna do like a no makeup day. I don't think I would wear it with a full face because I don't normally do a cream highlight and then a powder on top of it. And you certainly don't need to do that when you have this one. This gloss is absolutely beautiful. I love this to just throw in your purse. Um, I also love how moisturizing these are. I think I might go back and get another shade because there is, there's, I think maybe five or six shades at um, Ulta. It's not that many, but I would like to get more of a pinky nude. This one is definitely very chocolatey brown, but I think obviously that's perfect for fall. And then the palette I think was really beautiful as well. I'm just excited to play with this a little bit more. I definitely need to play with it a little bit more. This shade's kind of blended in into like one shade on my eye, although I did stick to like the same region of the palette. I like using all mattes. I don't normally do that, so it's kind of cool to force myself to use all mattes. So I think this is a good palette for the winter and the fall, definitely. Um, and it smells like peaches. So yeah, I really love how this makeup look turned out. Let me know what you guys think, what products you were most impressed by. Um, and let me know if you have any of them or you are going to go out and get them. I definitely don't think you'll be disappointed. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. All the links will be down below and I'll see you in my next